Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you all are doing well today. I wanted to give some exciting news that sort of integrates this um, uh, cryptocurrencies and watches, which is kind of a crazy, it's crazy to think that, you know, a couple years ago I actually covered Vacheron and Constantin and how they were going to be using the blockchain to sort of track the, to track the, um, the uh, histories of, of each of the watches that they've sold. Basically, it would use the blockchain technology to capture the owners of each of the pieces. Um, and it's crazy to think that was 2019 and now we're in 2022 and Tag Heuer has officially announced that they're going to be accepting cryptocurrencies for the purchases of their uh, watches. Now, this is only available in, US, in the US and it is capped at 10,000. I guess the value of a watch that you can purchase with, crypto, with a cryptocurrency can't be more than 10,000 US dollars. So there are some restrictions, but it's a pretty crazy um, journey that Tag Heuer and cryptocurrencies have gone on um, when it comes to, uh, you know, the journey that, that they, they've been on with this with this interesting uh, payment method. So um, to give you just a little bit of a background on this, so Tag Heuer, like I said, is accepting cryptocurrencies for um, US online purchases. The um, coins that you'll be, uh, that are going to be accepted by Tag Heuer include Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Coin Cash, Dogecoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Shibu, Shibu Inu, and Wrapped Bitcoin. There's also a lot of um, stable uh, coins that are pinned to the US dollar that are going to be used. USDP, BUSD, DAI, USDC, and GUSD. It's pretty interesting that basically you can now use your wallet, your cryptocurrency wallet, and purchase a watch from Tag Heuer online with a cryptocurrency. Now, because of the volatility of a lot of the um, a lot of the uh, cryptocurrency prices, there's essentially going to be a rate that is guaranteed for 15 minutes every single time you want to make a purchase for a watch. This is getting away, or I guess, um, moving Tag Heuer to a place where hopefully um, it'll allow them to, uh, you know, capture a price for 15 minutes. Someone can make a purchase and things will go on pretty smoothly. Like I mentioned, it's limited to 10,000 US dollars um, or the equivalent of 10,000 US dollar purchases from Tag Heuer. And again, this is only online sales um, there. I guess what this is really doing is allowing more people to use payment methods other than your typical cash, credit card, debit card, check, money order um, to purchase a watch. I think this is pretty uh, a pretty cool way thing that Tag Heuer is doing. A lot of people of the newer generation are interested in cryptocurrencies, are actively uh, trading or using cryptocurrencies in their day-to-day -day lives, and allowing for them to purchase watches with the this different way of um, or different method or different payment method is actually almost like a nod to a newer generation of purchaser. Um, I think something that consistently should be on the, or is on the mind or it should be on the mind of watch brands is the fact that um, the younger generation might not be as interested in watches as perhaps other generations were. Uh, even if you look at people younger than me, uh, they may not, may not be interested in buying a watch or buying a $10,000 Tag Heuer watch that they can wear. And so allowing for them to purchase watches with cryptocurrencies almost puts Tag Heuer, Heuer into it almost allows them to be in the space of this newer generation and allows them to be part of the conversation of a generation that might not be me there. So what you can imagine is a newer generation person walking in or doing some research online, seeing a Tag Heuer watch, being interested in maybe exploring um, exploring the purchase of one of these watches, going onto the site and saying, well, they're accepting cryptocurrencies, so I guess it is a, a brand that's sort of thinking forwardly and thinking about um, and is using a mode of, of um, mode of payment that I'm accustomed to, I know a lot about, which is, I think, pretty, pretty incredible. Um, hopefully this brings along some of the generations that maybe are not as interested in watches as other generations may be. It also allows for people who perhaps have done well in cryptocurrencies to explore watches and be able to use something that they've done well in and purchase maybe you know, a, a reward uh, of some sort with, with that. 
When you think about it from the flip side though, it's actually quite an interesting move from Tycar. So yes, I think from a marketing perspective, it's great. It allows for more people to buy watches with, with this different payment method. But what's really interesting is, I don't actually know what Tycar is going to do with the cryptocurrencies that they end up acquiring from the purchase of their watches. Um, this is an online, it's, it's available on their online shop. And so, um, and so, it's, it's definitely going straight to Tycar. It's not going to a, um, a uh, you know, a retailer or anything like that. It's going to Tycor as a company. Um, and so in a way, it's actually kind of a signal from Tycor that they believe in cryptocurrencies. They believe that there probably is a sustainable future for cryptocurrencies in the, in, in the future um, because they'll essentially hold that on their balance sheet, right? They're gonna hold cryptocurrencies on their balance sheet in some way um and and have it there they're obviously going to have to build out their um their i guess employee base for people who are in the know about cryptocurrencies and know what to do with them as um cryptocurrency kind of comes in for the purchase of their watches um and uh yeah it'll be interesting i don't know if if we'll be able to even see on balance sheets what what will happen with um some of the cryptocurrencies that they'll be acquiring from all of this all of this um all of these purchases <clears throat> but um they have hit you know bitcoin ethereum um as sort of the two uh, two very big players in the cryptocurrency space that people kind of view as um the bedrock the gold standard when it comes to cryptocurrencies so it'll be interesting to to look at it is interesting that they've got shibu inu and dogecoin in there um not really sure about those ones, but uh, <clears throat> we'll have to we'll have to see what what happens there. But again, I think this is a really interesting move from Takahar to do something like this. Um, I'm excited for for those who may be purchasing Takahar watches. I'm a huge fan of Takahar, and um, I think they pr they're producing watches that are interesting and youthful and um, should be viewed by by those who are interested in watches just in general. So. It'll be interesting to see what happens there. I'm excited for Takahara. Congratulations, Takahara, for this new move. Um, and I hope it goes um, successfully. Again, this is another um, example of more and more companies that are embracing the idea that cryptocurrency and blockchain technology is something that is going to be here in the future. And so we'll have to see what ends up happening with all of it. Um, but it is uh, sort of a, a nod to the idea that cryptocurrencies might be here to stay. Um, with these large institutions coming coming along with it. Let me know what you think in the comments below about this big change for Tag Heuer. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are other brands going to follow Tag Heuer? I'm sure there might be a couple that will. Um, if you are new to the channel and you like these types of videos, you like watches, we create videos on a range of topics and watches, so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are interested in seeing these every week. You can check out our website and our social media platforms if you're interested on seeing some more stuff there. We have a whole host of new watches coming in for our store if you are interested in checking those out, mainly vintage watches. Um, I'm very excited to share them with you on the channel here, so stay tuned for that. If you wouldn't mind liking this video, it really does help us out with our YouTube analytics. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and until next time.